Hi everyone, this is Cody at Lambda, and in this video, I will cover using the remote SSH extension in VS Code to access an on-demand instance, one-click cluster node, or any remote server. To begin, I have to install the remote SSH extension by clicking here in VS Code and searching for SSH. I see right at the top here, remote SSH, and I'll install this extension. And once I have the extension installed, I can use the command palette to type in SSH and connect to host. I'll type in the login information to access the remote server. And in this case, I'm using an on-demand instance, and I'll type in Ubuntu at the IP address of my on-demand instance. I'll hit enter and a new window opens that connects to the remote server, which in my case is the on-demand instance. So what I see here is the terminal displaying my connection to my on-demand instance. And to create a file, I can, for example, click File, New File, and I'll name this file, just for testing purposes, hello world.sh. And I'll save the file in my home directory at, as hello world.sh. I'll click OK, and I'll just create a simple script that prints out the words hello world. And I'll save this file just like I would ordinarily do on a local file. And I'll go to my terminal and test the script by running bash hello world.sh. And you can see in my terminal the words hello world have been printed. So that's how you use the remote SSH extension in VS Code to access an on-demand instance or one-click cluster node or any remote server. Thank you for watching this video. To keep up with the latest developments at Lambda, connect with us on X or LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel.